again. Tissue. I've approached every relationship in my life with a guarded heart. But when I met you for the first time, my walls never even had a chance to go up because you're simply the most honest, kind, and noble man that I have ever met. It was so easy to fall in love with you because you were thoughtful, romantic, passionate, and ambitious but you're also so silly. You're beautiful. You're the most beautiful woman in the world and that will never change. Of all the things in life, the one thing I feel most confident in is my love for you. Oh, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Now, seven years ago, Greg introduced Linda into our lives. Linda, who burst into the scene, you tru truly brings out the best in each other. I feel like the guy in the romantic comedy movie that somehow ended up with the girl of his dreams. How am I crying already? He's supposed to be crying. <laughs> I first met Greg in the first couple of weeks of medical school. Greg once told us, he wanted to find a girlfriend, and no one would take him seriously while living in his walk-in closet. <laughs> it didn't take long for Greg's wish to come true. He did, in fact, find the perfect girlfriend in Linda. Our first date, we were supposed to meet at 8. Around 8.20, I was finishing up. I sent Greg a text, and little did I know, he had been there waiting for me. Linda was late, and she showed up hungry. I thought he wasn't very interested in me. Linda's a really easy person to talk with. Then the next morning, he texted me. She's everything Greg isn't. She's outgoing, she's bubbly. She's accomplished and good looking. that if you're interested in somebody, you had to follow up. And so we finally found a time. And there was this crazy blizzard, and there was multiple feet of snow. Basically, the entire Boston tea system was shut down. She told me during Christmas break when she came home one year that she had met some guy named Greg on the internet. I mean, my eyes rolled to the back of my head, OK? <laughs> So when Linda shared that Greg had walked 1.7 miles each way to see her in the snow, I told her at that moment, I was like, you're going to marry him. That is the one. Thank you. <laughs> Wear the spring as a symbol that our love is complete, beautiful, beautiful and endless. Having watched Greg and Linda efficiently maneuver through life together, including driving a 12-year-old car to move across the country to both start new jobs while also planning a wedding from 3,000 miles away, they seem really well prepared to handle what life throws at them. A strong marriage, it is a safe haven for each of you to become your best self. You're adding to your life not only the affection of each other, but also the companionship and the blessing of a deep trust. I could not dream up a more perfect 
guy for Linda. Just being with you and sharing my life with you makes me so, so happy. If it were up to me, I'd spend every minute with you. I really would. But I realized that would drive you crazy. <laughs> I know that I can trust you completely with my heart because you don't have a bad bone in your body. As I stand before you today, I promise to do the same for you. I promise from this day forward to be grateful for our love and our life, to be generous with my time, my energy, and my affection, to be patient with you and myself. <laughs> to fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter. I want you to know that you can trust me with your heart today and all the days to come. I love you. It is my honor and delight to declare you married. Please seal your love with a kiss. To me, love is two people who are complete on their own, but who continue to inspire each other to be better every day. You embody that love for me. I love you. I love you. I may not always say how I feel, but know that when I look at you, I see my home and I see my family.